What is up guys? This is Mike Dean with First Step Travelers. Last we left off, we had just left Dublin, Ireland, and we took a 10 euro Fleeks bus ride west to a city called Galway so that we could check out one of the Aran Islands. But before we do that, Greg and I definitely wanted to explore Galway. Now Galway is an awesome city, and it has a very traditional Irish feel. There is lots to do and see here. You'll run into tons of street performers. Plenty of parks to relax in. Right now we're actually at Erie Park. They have a memorial for JFK here. And uh, I thought that was really cool. Plenty of places to grab a bite to eat. You'll have a chance to grab a traditional Irish breakfast. You gotta have your Irish breakfast. And there's an amazing nightlife here, which was a lot of fun. Now, as great as Galway is, I was very excited to head to one of the Aran Islands called Inishmore Island, which is the largest of the three islands. Now, to get there, you have to take a bus and a ferry, which will cost you about 32 euros round trip. And once you land on the island, you grab yourself a bike for about 10 euros and you're ready to go. I can't even begin to explain how amazing this place is. There are plenty of ancient structures here that predate Christ, which I would imagine would make this an archaeological gold mine. There's no hustle and bustle of the city, just the calm villages, the quiet of nature, and the sounds of friendly locals. Going here is like taking a trip back in time. I have never seen anything like this. And when I say that you can explore these ruins, I absolutely mean that. So you're probably thinking, this place is really cool, but what is it? Well basically, these islands were first inhabited about 3000 BC. Everything built on the island at that time was made from stone, since there obviously wasn't a hardware store. It was believed that many of the first inhabitants died out, and with the coming of the Bronze Age, more occupants settled on these islands. There was even the arrival of the Celtics during the Iron Age. This is when all these incredible stone forts were constructed, and they stand here to this day. These forts are incredible. I'd imagine you'd be able to see a threat coming from far away with a position like that. And if things got really bad, this fort on the cliffside may be your last line of defense. So we finally made it up here. Lifts and 
it is unreal. This is unreal how high it is and just, I can't even explain the landscape. It is just so beautiful. This is it. So you need to come to Aran Island if you're gonna visit Ireland. This is the best day trip that you can have here. At least from my experience so far, but I've got a couple more days here, so we'll see. These islands are incredible, and they're all actually powered by renewable energy, which I thought was pretty cool. It's just so quiet and peaceful here. Nothing like where I'm from. If you're lucky, you'll catch the seals out on the seaside. People do cliff diving here, people get married, and you can even hear the locals speak the native Irish language, or even try to learn it for yourself. And once you're done hanging out on the cliffside, you jet back on your bikes to the ferry port. I have to say, this place was the highlight of my Ireland trip. the states. What part? Kansas City. Kansas. Not Kansas anymore. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> How many times have I heard that since I landed? <laughs> What's up guys? I really hope you enjoyed that video. Man, those cliffs were high up. This place is just so cool. You gotta check it out. It's worth the money. I cannot recommend it enough. Coming up next, we are headed to court to check out the city, and of course, we have to kiss the Blarney Stone. So that's all coming up next, and right after that, we catch a Ryanair flight to Faro, Portugal, which is such a great place. You guys are going to love it. And like I said in my last Dublin, Ireland video, if you have a student ID, that can help you out a lot. It will cut down prices on a lot of things you do in Europe. If you're a student, make sure you bring your student ID. A huge shout out to Yelena, who was backpacking on her own, and we just ran into, and she checked out this island with us. Uh, she literally saves my life later on on this trip, but that is a story for another time. And another shout out to Colin and Sarah for hanging out with us in Galway. You guys are awesome. Like I said, Galway's awesome. Aran Islands are awesome. Make sure you check that out and make sure you subscribe because I got so much more coming out and so much good information coming your way. I'm really hoping this can inspire you guys wherever you are to come out and check these places out and become part of the travel nation you know put your input in the comments have any questions about anything i'm always answering comments give me a thumbs up because that really helps me out and i will have more videos coming your way make sure you like and subscribe share these videos and we'll see you guys next time